There's a story I often heard in Saskatchewan about a farmer who had to make his way from the house to the barn in the middle of a blizzard. In order to find his way back to the house, he tied a rope to the back door. When he had finished tending to his animals, all he had to do was follow the rope in order to make his way back home. If the truth be told, I never actually met a farmer who had done that. But we're not talking about historical truth here. We're talking about a story that reveals a deep truth. Part of the story's appeal is that its content is archetypal. There are many versions of it in different cultures. For example, in Greek myth, there's the story of Theseus killing the Minotaur. The Minotaur was a monster, half man and half bull, and he had been imprisoned in a maze by the king of Crete. Theseus was the son of the king of Athens, and he came to slay the Minotaur. His lover was Ariadne, the daughter of the king of Crete. Ariadne gave him a ball of thread, which he unraveled as he traveled deeper into this confusing maze. After he had killed the Minotaur, the following the thread allowed him to make his way back out of the maze safely. We can relate to this story in many ways. First of all, the farmer is traveling from his home to the workplace. Second of all, the blizzard is beyond the individual farmer's control. Success is represented merely by survival. The blizzard is dangerous and ultimately disorienting. In the middle of this confusion, how do we find our way back home? The current economic recession is like the blizzard. It may be caused by human action, but from the perspective of any one individual, it's threatening, dangerous, and beyond our control. The best I can hope for is survival. The current storm is causing all kinds of damage to the workplaces of our lives. For some of us, our workplace has disappeared. For others, it may be a long time before it becomes fully functional. What is the thread that we can follow to find our way out of this confusion? What is the rope we can hang on to to make our way back home? In the myth of the Minotaur, we learn that the thread is associated with the desire of the heart. The thread is given to Theseus. It comes from his heart's desire, his lover, Ariadne. It's Ariadne's thread. It links the head, the hands, and the feet, but it's governed by the heart. In our regular lives, we sometimes call this vocation. Over the years, I have found that farmers are just about evenly divided between those for whom farming is a business like any other business and those for whom it is a calling, a vocation. The American writer Frederick Beekner says that vocation is where your deep gladness and the world's deep hunger meet. In this time of economic recession, confusion, and disorientation. Many people will be searching for a way home. Now is the time to test your and my fundamental values and ask if we have organized our lives in a way that our deep gladness and the world's deep hunger can meet. Now is the time for each of us to build a moral economy of the heart. This has been the Moral Economy column for July 2009. This column is published every six weeks. If you'd like to receive a copy by email, send me a message at office at christopherlind.ca.